previously on Balls. Hello. Gordon. Yeah. Hi, it's Darren and the Balls team. How are you doing, sir? Hi, Darren. How are you? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Under the circumstances, shocking news on Friday. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, about yeah. Thomas and, and uh, the tragic way that he, he passed away at such a young age as well. Yeah, it's terrible, yeah. And uh, how, are you, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? Yeah, no, you know, it's difficult. It's very difficult because, you know, Tommy was, as you know, a wonderful, wonderful human being, you know, and uh, we were very close. And, you know, just, uh, just the way things turned, he was so happy and excited to be part of the Bafana squad, looking forward to having a cup of nations, you know, and this tragedy had to strike us, you know, and it's such a huge, huge loss, not only to football, but just Tommy as a human being. Yeah. You know, he was always there for everybody, always, you know, uh, giving a bit of advice and always asking how you are, how's your family, how's everything. You know, you're such a great human being, mm. and it's, uh, it's such a tragedy. Yeah, I mean, just a gentle, gentle soul. Um, down, his feet on the ground wasn't was never, never sort of. I, I mean, you didn't even read about him in the in the in the gossip columns of the newspapers or anything. He was just a true football man. I mean, I uh, got to know him just before he ended up with the Super Sport uh, setup. I mean, from a loyalty point of view as well. Uh, never, never pushed any agenda. He just loved the work that he was doing. He was happy to fulfill the role he was doing and support the people um, that he was working with all the time. There was never any drama about Tommy Marikaki. Yeah, no, he was he was a, the true gentleman of the game, you know. And, and as you said, very, very loyal, very committed, very honest, very supportive. You know, he was uh, he was an absolute angel. I mean, uh, it's unbelievable. You know, it's just it's so hard to just grasp this because you know. Many times I'd say to him, oh, Tommy, do me a favor and do this interview for me, you know. And he didn't want to be in the limelight. He didn't want to go and do an interview. He didn't want to, you know, he said, no, 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 it's not for me. You know, so it's just so, it's just so hard to believe it. It's like it's not real, you know. It's just like it's a bad dream. It's, it's, uh, it's an absolute tragedy. Well, uh, I mean, obviously, we, we, I know you'll be there and, and, and just about everyone that's ever worked with him. And obviously, the Bufana team will be there. Um, on, on, are you guys going to get up there on Sunday for the, uh, for the funeral? Yes, we are. We're going to the memorial tomorrow. I mean, on Friday, okay. and the funeral. The funeral's on Sunday. Yeah. All right. Uh, where's the memorial being held, Gordon? I'm not 100 percent sure yet. We just waiting for. They're just busy right now at Safa House discussing okay. all the details, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So later on this afternoon, we should know. All right. Cool. And uh, we'll, Johnny will just find out, and we'll also let uh, let people know as well, so we can go and pay okay, tribute think, to Tommy. I think it might be at the Rand Stadium. I'm not sure though. Okay. We need to we need to check this up. All right. We'll confirm that for you. And um, obviously, uh, you, you you can let all of this um, you know pass. Let people just sort of come to terms with what's happened and. Uh, and, and grieve and let, let that period of mourning go before um, you start thinking about um, you know the, your, your new assistant coach now yeah no, look, that's the further thing on mind at the moment you know I think we've just got to uh, let Tommy get laid to rest and, uh, and then celebrate his life you know yeah. I mean it's uh, I mean that's what he would want us to do and uh, you know he was a great believer and um, as I say let's just not even think about that right yeah. now let's just uh, give him the respect and um, See how we can cover it all. Absolutely. Well, uh, Gordon, our condolences to you and to uh, the team who we were uh, working closely with Tommy over these last few uh, last few months. I know we spoke to him in uh, in July uh, on this radio station, and uh, we played that back again on Friday. It's what an awesome, awesome guy it was, and our condolences to to everyone that uh, that he touched their lives because uh, it was always done in a positive way. And thanks for uh, for a few moments this afternoon. No, it's a pleasure. I think Tommy touched everybody's lives. That's mm. how he was. Thanks a lot, Gordon. All the best. Thanks, Gordon. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. There Bye. we go. Gordon Eggerson uh, joining us on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. And uh, Friday, memorial service, as you say, uh, possibly at the Rand Stadium, but just confirm that, Johnny. Mm. And then uh, on Sunday is the funeral, which is happening up in uh, the Limpopo area. I would imagine, as I say, um, probably close to um, the Moria. Um, which is um, which is uh, where Tommy obviously is a member of the ZCC. I think it's going to be a massive, massive turnout for uh, for both. But we will get the details, and if you want to go and pay your last respects, um, we'll give you the details so you can go and do so.